Okay, this is YouTube's current policy before December 10th. And as you see, there's really not much to it. Under A, the policy says they can terminate your account if you are a repeat infringer. Termination policy B says they can terminate your account for other reasons than copyright. And they give a few examples. Pornography or obscenity. That comes as no surprise. And the only other example is excessive length. Some people will upload videos that are hours long for the sole purpose of getting their 4,000 watch hours. So most likely what was happening is people's accounts were being terminated and because their termination policy wasn't very clear, it subjected YouTube to civil liability. Now we're gonna take a look at YouTube's new policies as of December 10th, 2019. And these policies are much more detailed. For the average everyday small channel, it's really nothing to worry about. But for some channels, there's a lot to worry about. Here's their new policies as of December 10th. And as you see, they're much more detailed. Of course, you can terminate your own account, but we're gonna skip that and talk about terminations for cause. I'm not going to discuss A and B because that kind of makes sense. But C really concerns me. Basically, it's saying if your videos could create liability or harm to anyone, then your account can be terminated. To the average YouTuber, this is nothing to worry about. But if you upload controversial content, this is somewhat scary. Now this next policy is the one everyone's talking about. It basically says if your account is no longer commercially viable, then your account can be terminated. What's concerning about this policy is YouTube does not clarify what commercial viability means. And number two, YouTube has sole discretion. Again, to the average YouTuber, this is nothing to worry about. Let me give you an example. Many people are using YouTube as free cloud storage. For example, let's say you wanted to store a bunch of large videos on the internet somewhere. These people upload tons of videos onto YouTube and make all of their videos private. Now, YouTube can terminate those accounts because they're not commercially viable. If you're a small channel, and let's say you're not monetized, for example, YouTube will not terminate your account. YouTube needs small channels because if YouTube terminated all the small channels, who would watch the ads and generate money for Google? Think about that. As for the rest of their new policies, they're not that shocking. So you can read those on your own. The rest of their new policies just talk about how they will notify you and it gives you rights to appeal. Now, with YouTube's new policies, did they make it pretty clear that they can terminate any account for pretty much anything they want to? Kind of. But what's more important is to discuss what you should be doing right now. The first thing you need to do is back up all your videos. I recommend Google Takeout, but there are many other ways to back up your videos. Just do a Google search to find out. And by the way, you should be regularly backing up your videos anyways. Here's another very important thing I would do. See, most YouTube channels are small channels, and YouTube has a policy that requires you to participate. And one of the requirements is you need to upload content. So if you are a small YouTube channel and you regularly participate in YouTube by watching people's videos and commenting, it's very important that if you have no content, upload something immediately even if it's a short video. Thanks for watching. And in summary, if you are a small YouTube channel, what I'd recommend you do is number one, back up your content. Number two, if you don't have any content, upload something immediately, even if it's a short video. 
so YouTube does not remove your channel thinking that you are an inactive channel. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. And remember, YouTube needs small channels in order to survive because YouTube is dependent on ad revenue. And every time you watch a video, YouTube is making money. The channels that have the most to worry about are ones that bully, harass, dox, threaten people, stalk people, etc. But of course, we knew that already. And that's been YouTube's policy for a while. Have a nice day.